Not that we've seen. Hello, hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome. Hello, doodles. Is that time already? Yes, it is that time already, and it's raining, and my hair is getting wet. I'm sure your hairnet can take it. I don't know. And, I might have to And use why are more. you not at Mother Meoni's with me? Because I had to do guild stuff. And I'm right here. Okay. So. Hi. Yep. <laughs> so. We have an unlock that we haven't finished. Uh, to tussle with the gods? Yep. We've got main story. Which, let me check. We are technically in 2.3. I don't think we've started that main story. No, we have not. We've done everything no, we else not. but. Um, everything? We did Hildebrand. Mm hmm. Um. That is part of. No, 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 no. That's not part of the main story. There is Circus Tower. Uh, are we on 2 2 or 2 3? 2 3. Ooh, Circus Tower. We finished Tower. 2 2, and then we've been working our way through 2 3. We've done the dungeons and we've done Hildebrand. Well, why don't we go ahead and head to Mordona to turn into Tussle the Gods? Because okay. that will swing us out to where we need to be for Circus Tower. Okay. Uh, though I will note, there is something else that 2-3 uh, has. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Everyone's favorite. Mm -hmm. Delivery Moogles. We are not messing with the Delivery Moogles. Aww. <laughs> because that will take forever. Take forever. It'll just take the rest of the year. My point exactly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I hope everyone has had a wonderful so, weekend. Now that we're off of um, Palace of the Dead. Which we can't finish the story for that until we hit level 60. <clears throat> yeah. Um, I don't think I'm ready to heal or tank Circus Tower. No, 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 no. I mean, you could probably heal Circus Tower. Don't bother tanking. <laughs> because all... Actually, Circus Tower isn't that bad. Basically, just sit back and let someone else tank. <laughs> uh, the problem is, is that all... All of the Alliance raids... Uh, end up... With the tanks trying to determine who has the bigger aggro table. Yes. And it never ends well. Or at least very rarely. Hi, Urza. Oh. Ah, yes. Please stow all umbrellas before boarding the Chocobo. Quick! I'd hold it over you. I'd help you stay to dry, too. Never mind what it does to the aerodynamics. Wait, and there goes a hippo car. This is a flying chocobo. <laughs> this, is a, uh, this is a flying chocobo. What aerodynamics? <laughs> Don't tell her I said that. Quay! I think Sorry. she could hear you. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Today was kind of hazy and lazy, which is probably for the best. Well, the good news is I'm waiting another week on Sky's computer. Yeah, that's good news. And why is that good news? Because of why. Because I'm not having to replace a graphics card in the system. Which would have been another way to be waiting another week, though we probably would have just gone over to Computer Central at that point and asked them, save us. 
but her video card was not wanting to work in her system yet oh, and i was trying it yesterday it worked in my system which meant that the video card was fine generally speaking um it does show some noticeable sag um probably not to the point where most places would say yeah you know most places would say no that's that's not a problem with that much sag but since I knew it was having video dropout issues earlier, which implies, yeah, the sag was affecting it, and I could get it to work in my system. Well, after these Rowena messages. Hello, Rowena. Greetings, adventurers. So you're the ones as hopes to trade some primal curiosities, are you? Ariane is guaranteed their authenticity, so I don't. S so why don't you let old Rowena here take a look at those ritual objects of yours? Yeah, here's one from Porta. Here's one from Uncle Craggy, and here's <laughs> one from Cousin If. <laughs> Please take them off. I don't want them in my pockets anymore. Hmm. Carved from beastman bones, just as he described. Well, I'd be lying if I said these trinkets didn't make my skin crawl like a dire mite in my undergarments. Ooh, those must be really large undergarments. In case you misunderstood, that's an expression of high praise, laughs. My customers. I don't want to know her expression of low praise. <laughs> yeah. My customers will be getting each other in the streets for a chance to purchase your trophies. Show them to Lorana, and my acquisitions officer, and she'll walk you through the transaction. Uh... As for Rowena, never do something you can delegate. Yep, and she can delegate with the best of them. Ah, right up here. Yeah, I know you're looking all shifty. Please take this off my hands. God damn you, Rowena. You promised me a life of excitement in exotic lands of Mordona, and here I am stalking your shelves like a trained Opo. Ahem. <clears throat> May I help you, miss? Here, this might be slightly more exciting than you want to ha hold. Uh, what in the seven unholy hills are these gruesome things? Beastmen ritual dolls? You adventurers in your perchance for stowing the most disgusting souvenirs in your pockets. What? And that goes twice for Rena for wanting to stock the stuff, and thrice for her addled customers for begging to buy it. I'll agree with that last. Uh, but that's neither here nor there. Whatever it is that drives you folk to also fills my purse with coin. Now, were you seeking a trade for aught in particular? Ah, the special weapons deal in. Th is that? Here, take a few of these tokens and you'll be able to exchange them for any arms you fancy. If you're the one of those completionist types, then you'll no doubt want an entire armoire of those things. Just bring me another set of those stomach-turning ritual tools, and I'll see you rewarded with more trinkets. Let's hop to it! No thanks. Do we have to? Not, uh, not unless you want more tokens. Actually, what are my tombstones looking like? What are my tombstones looking like? Thank you. Ooh, 500. I might be able to buy an elegant or an ironworks for that. What is my lowest? Uh, 500 tombstones of poetics? You must have spent them on something. Well, considering uh, Paladin has both the main arm and offhand for the ironworks, that might have been it. Um. Oh, and White Mage has the Ironworks Cane. Ninja has High Elegant Cleavers. White Mage is my lowest. 
Uh, looks like uh, I've got the iron works for Hugglest. Now, is this weapons or what? Weapons. What item level? Uh, 130. Oh. Which means it's better than the token she just gave us. And what are those uh, at? Uh, the three tokens are effectively like the yeah. Um, uh, yeah, they're all nineties. Ouch! Yeah, my lowest is a ninety-five. So um. That said, while we're here... Can I buy, like, new wristlet... Oh, white mage wristlets. They're still on 60. Uh, I think you need to talk to the girl next door for that. Elegant for... Yeah, or, uh... Ariana? Uh, yeah. Poetics, D O M. And accessories, and I was saying bracelet, right? Yeah. Bracelet of healing. Yeah, sure. I maxed at 2000, I might as well spend something. Oh god, yeah. At 2000, you can almost buy, like, half a set of stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For the moment, I'm just going to... Yeah, that sends White Mage up to 101. Because I just replaced the lowest thing it had. That leaves Warrior at 99. Ninety-five, nineties, seventy. Ah, uh, the maintenance work. Yes. And A remember, necklace. you don't need earrings. Nope. They're currently considered 430. By the way, I will also note with the rings, they're untradeable, but they are no longer unique. You can have two of them now. Yeah, they did fix that. Yay! I'm down to one elegant tombstone of poetics! <laughs> Don't spend it all in one place. my lowest white mage again. Uh, 90, 80. Ring. Yeah, I know, but they only let us have one earring. It's very disappointing. No, we get one pair. You'll notice they're officially titled... Uh, at least for the slot, they're officially titled earrings. This is true. Though, though with the same Infinia's earring, singular, and I believe they only show one, so... Yeah, they yeah. It depends on what the model is. If it's a pair or not. And, and oh yeah, it was gonna be the ring. Ring of healing. Overflow uh, inventory. <laughs> Hello, Octi. Hello, Foxfire. And Drake. 
Who's we're just turn? sorting ourselves out for the day. Spending all these spare tombstones. Please. Okay, everything is 90 or above. Well, we have been kind of working it. Yeah, 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 but... Do I want to visually break up the set? Can always glamour! Yeah, yeah, I'm not really set up for that, though. <laughs> okay. Let's see how bad this is. looks. Let's see the meaning. Okay. Hides the belly button, amazingly. If I remember right, the maiming set was not bad. Oh, what do you think? Uh, I believe Thayrin actually wore his for a long time. You can go see it. Yeah, I can kind of see it. I remember it. I could go for it. At least it doesn't look completely foreign to the rest of it because the colors actually stay somewhat consistent. It is up to you. Foxfire says it looks pointy. <laughs> it's Dragoon armor. It all looks pointy. Dragoon armor now with belly button protection. What will they think of next? <laughs> is now lowest warrior 30 90 30 one more chest piece should break yeah, should break my bank i'm surprised you just didn't get the chest and legs for dragoon There, now I'm down to 140. Yeah, that doesn't mesh quite so well. Okay. I'm all ready to go earn more tombstones. I think we need to talk to Rambrose. Think he has anything to say to us? I think so. Well, let's see if your adventurer's intuition is correct. I can fly here. Yes. So back to Sky's system. So yeah, I knew the card was working. It was showing sag, and I was suspecting it might be the sag causing the problems. So this morning I reseated the card again. Shoved a spare little uh, box under it to prop it up and plugged it back into the monitor and all of that, and yes, the video worked. So it's purely off of SAG, despite the number of sites that say it's cosmetic only. Oh, Graha wants to talk with us. Hello, Graha. Think he's anyone important? I don't know. He keeps following us around, though. For prosperity. Rahatia is ready to address the assembled fellowship of Noah. The fellowship of Noah being accounted for, it is time this assembly was called to order. Rambrose will be presiding over the meeting. 
if you would be so kind as to inform him of your readiness to proceed. Uh, checking with oh. Mr. Snooty. Oh, you talked to Rambrose, didn't you? Yeah, hold on. Hold that pose. I have studied the legacy of the Allegan Empire for long years. Now that this expedition is at last underway, the very core of my historical infatuation lies within my grasp. There was a second bubble? No? Oh, yes. It falls to us, to the Fellowship of Noah, to crack open the tomb of a fallen civilization and bring the wealth of its history out of the shadows and into the light. These are Allegans. Are you sure you want to do that? <laughs> yeah, sure. Why not? What's the worst that could happen? Uh, don't get me started. Don't get Theron started, that's for sure. <laughs> and yeah, I'll second that uh, Danish, maybe not the coffee. Yeah, unfortunately, Foxfire, due to some trolling that's been happening in the past on Twitch, I've had to lock out links from anyone who isn't a subscriber. Mm. And yeah, you can understand where that one came from. Sorry. Welcome back, Ludonia, Rena. I've just been reading about your encounter in the Labyrinth of the Ancients. It pleases me greatly to note you seem none the worse for the experience. For your reference, I have added my own notes to Graha's preliminary expedition report and begun compiling a Crystal Tower survey log. The information contained therein will be available to you at all times. Should you have any questions, you need only ask. Now. If there are no objections, I shall begin with a summary of the expedition's key accomplishments. Which is good, because it's been a while, so we've all completely forgotten, right? Forgotten what? Exactly! Ooh, more silver pieces for uh, my uh, coin collection. Actually, I think those get sold off because I'm over a full stack. <laughs> In the course of this, our first foray into the grounds of the Crystal Tower, we succeeded in neutralizing the structure's outer defenses before proceeding to secure the maze surrounding the uh, base of the spire. According to Ladonia and Rena's account, the Labyrinth's defenses were most emphatically active. Disturbingly, their report also mentions a violent encounter with a sentry heavily augmented by Allegan technology. In short, our misgivings were well-founded. The Crystal Tower was not simply thrust above ground by the chaotic shifting of Earth, it has somehow been reawoken. If, as seems increasingly likely, the Tower's secrets should prove too dangerous to share with the world, we will have no choice but to contain them. Short of leveling the place, this will almost certainly involve returning its mechanisms to a state of dormancy. To do that, however, we will first need to address the question of how they work, the answer to which must surely be waiting for us inside the tower itself. In conclusion, that is where we must go. A task rather easier said than done, if the perils of the labyrinth are any indication. Then I move that all further exploration of the tower be delayed until such time as an exhaustive analysis of the structure's defenses has been completed. Master Garland, may I entrust this task to you? It would be my pleasure. Don't forget about us! I use that, Chief. We founded the Ironworks to make sure that technology was used for the right reasons. That means making sure it's not used for the wrong ones. We wouldn't be doing our jobs if we didn't see this through to the end. What? Well... I hope you're ready for some backbreaking chores. Well, everything's everything seems to be in hand here, so I shall take my leave of you for the present. If I am to witness this valiant tale unfold with mine own eyes, I must needs hone my martial skills ere we ascend the spire. You'll do nothing of the sort, Graha. Your knowledge may prove useful to Master Gurlin's investigation. Look at 
at Pout! <laughs> As an observer, I am not, strictly speaking, subject to your authority. Pray do not may mistake my intent. I am well aware that I shall never be a match for one with your innate talents, however hard I train. Be that as it may, pray do not allow your skills to rest from disuse during the coming pause. Yeah, this must have been the last quest from before. Oops. Yep. We will need you fighting fit for, uh, for subsequent forays or to prove as productive as this one. Mark me, we have not yet caught more than the briefest glimpse of that which time has obscured. Soon, however, we shall cast off the veil and gaze upon the glory of the Allegan Empire. I'm not sure if I want to uh, uh, see that glory. And with that encouraging thought in mind, it is time to bring this assembly to a close. Let us all focus on the tasks at hand, that our next expedition may begin all the sooner. Meeting adjourned! I thought we finished this up last time. We hit what seemed like a place, but this is obviously like an additional quest after, and oh no. <laughs> It's the fellow who told us to go seek out Master Rambrose in the first place! Such a terrible mess. And it does leave the door wide open, so to speak. One cannot help but be impressed. I'm beginning to understand the reliance you place on adventures, old friend. So, this is the legacy the Allegan Empire left behind. If my readings are correct, the energy source waiting atop the tower is a match for even the Ultima weapon. Nah, more than a match. What did he know about the Ultima weapon? <laughs> he helped... A build... new toy for me to play with. Yeah. Hi, Nero. Ugh. I believe the fates had conspired to deny me my just rewards once again. It would seem they had a greater destiny in mind for me. And so long as my ambition burns, I shall strive to seize it. The dream lives on, said. Do not disappoint me. Yeah, Nero, this is why I don't like you. <laughs> well, he's... that and a host of other reasons. He's gotten better. Kind of. No. Sort of. Maybe. Wish. Uh, hi, Rambros! Uh, we finished all our backbreaking chores! <laughs> Actually, checking with Graha real quick. my most fervent belief that the Fellowship of Noah will, piece by piece, lay bare the long-buried secrets of ancient Alag's history. But the doing of it will require all of your skill and more. Mayhap I can convince Master Garland to allow me to accompany you, and I might see some of these horrific guardians in the flesh. I am quite proficient with the bow, you know. Really now? No, they don't list what uh, patches or what, what qu which quest is what patch. Meow. So from the looks of it, this part will be one quest. Yeah. If I remember right, it was short, which is why I was like, wait, did we not finish the last round? Dope. <laughs> Circus Tower. <laughs> Rambrose is frustrated over Noah's lack of progress on the Crystal Tower. Don't worry, Foxfire. I know the feeling all too well. <laughs> ah, it is you, my friends. You are doubtless eager to hear of our progress on the Crystal Tower. Excellent. I'd be disappointed to hear otherwise. Of 
course, disappointed is the word of the day, I fear. And I shame to say there's nothing worthwhile to report. The suns continue to probe the labyrinth of the ancients, and every day brings new discoveries. Alas, the same cannot be said of the Crystal Tower proper. We have not been able to set so much as a single foot inside it. You will recall how the eight sentinels stood between us and the labyrinth initially. In like manner, the entryway to the principal spire, Circus Tower, the Allegans called it, is also protected by technology far more advanced than our own. Sid and I have tried every trick we know, but without success. Frankly speaking, we are at a loss. It is discouraging, but we cannot give up. There must be a way in. And so the situation stands, my friend. Until we gain entry to the tower, I fear your inner talents shan't avail us. It will require time that I am loath to waste. I have a mind to set my people to discovering such ancient texts as we have on hand. I think that would be you. Yeah, it, it, it could be you or me in equal measure. I think it'll be me. Perhaps we can be of assistance. And you are? Be at ease, friends, for we share the self-same goal. I am Une, and my companion is Doga. We are scholars of the Allied civilization, sent by the students of Baldessian to assist in your endeavor. And, um... Foxfire, I'm sorry, in your last statement you can remove an R. He's petty. <laughs> Wouldn't that be uh, two R's? No. Maybe an R and a T, but... Una and Duga, rather unusual names for this day and age, if I might be forgiven for observing, but I digress. You claim to be here at the student's behest, but we've received nary a word of your coming. Moreover, in light of the recent incident at the Isle of Val, I should think they rather have more pressing concerns. We can only assume that the message failed to reach you due to some mishap. I assure you we are here to help. Is he getting a cloud moment this time? What is it, Gra? Uh, it is nothing. There was a pain, but it has subsided. Well, well, this is rather unexpected. Your right eye is the same as ours. The same. You have the Allegan Eye as well. This sanguine hue is said to be a trait unique to the Allegans, yet I inherited it from my father as he did from his. Only one child in a single generation is born with the eye. All my life, I have sought to learn the truth of its manifestation. If there's aught you know, I implore you to tell me. My deepest apologies, but we have no answers for you. Only one thing is certain. Those who possess the trait are bound by fate to Alag. As your eye has placed you upon the path you walk, so too have we come here to fulfill our destiny. Absurd though it may sound, it is the truth. It seems to me we have not to lose by accepting their aid. What say you? If that is your wish, then so be it. Yet know that I still mean to verify your story with the students of Baldessian when I am able. I trust there will be no objections. Very well. As of this moment, I name Une and Duga advisory members of NOAA. Without further ado, let us have them examine the Circus Tower entrance. I promise you will not have cause to regret your decision. 
Adonia, Rena, I should be much obliged if you were to accompany our new friends to the tower. Biggs and Wedge are presently surveying the eight sentinels. The two of them can show you the way. On arrival, pray report to Master Garland. He will brief you on the situation. I shall join you, Ladonia, Rena. That's Unai and Duga's knowledge. Along with your uncanny knack for s setting events in motion, I am hopeful we will finally see progress. Eh, fine, why doesn't everybody just go? <laughs> it's okay, Rambros. Let me pet your bald head. Okay, I'm good. <laughs> he was upset. He needed pats. Yes. Why is there a side quest back there? For Moogles. Oh. Really? Yeah, that's what starts the Moogle delivery. Yeah, it would. Okay. I thought it would start with a Moogle instead of out in the middle of no uh, Mordona of all places. Oh, great. I'm Black Mage. Maybe I should act like it. I am. Uh, I know what I'm doing. Good, because I don't. You don't know what I'm doing? Well, that's fair. Oh, we both appear in here. I thought this yeah, was Yeah, they, they don't instant sit for once. Then I can't fly. Nope. nope. There's a Aether's suppressed. Just in. <laughs> as close to the tower. Tower's sucking it all up. Apparently. Hey, Witch, what you got there? Examining the rubble in the hopes that it'll yield a clue to entering Zerhis Tower. Can you tell we're getting desperate? Hey, Biggs! Well, if it isn't Ladoni and Rena, eager to enter Zerhis Tower and kill everything in sight, no doubt. As I'm sure you've already heard, though, the place is locked up tight as a clam. New friends from the students, you say? Excellent been slow going, or rather no going, for the chief. He'll appreciate the help. If you'll just follow me, I'll take you to him. Okie dokie. Okie dokie wookie. Mm-hmm. Big door. Yeah, I, I have to say the design of it is neat. Ah, some old faces to lift the spirit, and a couple new ones besides. Allow me to introduce Unai and Doga. They are scholars of ancient Alak sent here by our friends of Baldassian to aid in the investigation. We understand you're having trouble circumventing the tower's defenses. It is our hope that we can be of some small assistance. If your tires ought to go by, your assistance should prove invaluable indeed. To begin with, let me tell you where we stand. Beyond rises Circus Tower, the principal spire of the structure collectively known as the Crystal Tower. The only way to get inside is through the proverbial front door, the imposing gate you see here. The problem is, we can't get it to open. It's sealed by some mechanism whose workings are an utter mystery to us. Having had no success via more orthodox methods, I went at it with everything from a pickaxe to a Magitek cannon. Nothing so much as put a scratch on it. 
For a blessing, the gate doesn't try to reduce us to ashes like the eight sentinels. That doesn't make it any less effective as a security measure. It's fiendishly frustrating in its simplicity. The only clue we have is the elaborate device curved upon it. A man and a woman who respect it. Allegan royalty, by my judgment. Precisely who these individuals are, we cannot say. Nor do we know whether the device actually serves a purpose. Like as not, it is purely decorative. If you're thinking to force it, save your strength. It's no use. Just ask the calluses on my hands. Rest assured, we do not mean to waste our strength. Indeed. Why should we exert ourselves when the gate will open of its own accord? any of us expected that to happen. Seven Hells. What is this? What did you do? What... What are you? I think that's me. Yeah, that's gonna be you. Piercing the heavens and gathering the light, the symbol of mankind's glory and might. Its virtue guarded by gates impregnable, only to those of royal blood answerable. Exactly as passed down through legend, I am delighted to see. Big pardons for interrupting your bewilderment. I couldn't help but notice the remarkable playthings you have acquired. Gee, thanks. You're welcome. N Nero, you're still alive. You never did find a body. No, he he bailed. Remember at I know, the end of but, the fight, he's like, "Oh, I know, but it's online. I'm out of here." Poof. <laughs> Garland, Garland, if I didn't know better, I would say you weren't happy to see me. <laughs> but I just, in light of our recent meetings, you have every right to be wary. But rest assured, I am no longer a threat to you. My legion is for all intents and purposes defunct, and my association with it means a tight noose awaits me back in Garlemald. And so I've been roaming this land Eorzea, a regular itinerant. In the course of my wanderings, I chanced to catch wind of your latest venture. It sounded positively fascinating, and so I decided to come here and join you. After the wrongs you've committed, you think us that gullible. If you're suspicious of my intent, tis only my just deserts. But I am determined to make amends. As a gesture of goodwill, I will share with you what I know, starting with these two odd characters. Dun dun dun! As you are doubtless already aware, the Crystal Tower was the symbol of ancient allies' might and prosperity. Entry was permitted only to royalty and a select few individuals. According to the records I have unearthed, only royal blood can open the gate. In other words, the Emperor and his progeny were living keys. 
You mean to say these two are descended from Allegan royalty? Oh, I suggest nothing so glamorous. Put it plain, they are imitations of royalty. Living keys born of Allegan ingenuity. Clones, I believe, is the name your creators gave your kind. Is that not so? It would seem that the time for concealment is past. Pray accept our apologies. It was not our intent to deceive. Yes, it was. We simply wish to avoid causing undue alarm by prematuring, prematurely making what many would consider deranged claims. If it pleases you, let us return to the Eight Sentinels. There is much and more to tell. <laughs> what are you looking at me for? Doodles comment, though. Yes. <laughs> Very well. That does kind of count as a spoiler. <laughs> <laughs> Seven hells. Do you seriously mean to follow us around? Of course he does. He has nothing better to do. <laughs> Come, Garland. You know me better than to think I spoke in jest. What more will it take for us to be reconciled? A gift, perhaps? An Allegan tombstone. It holds the information I just shared with you, and a deal more besides. It used to be the jealously guarded property of the 14th Legion, but it's yours now. I wish you joy of it. I look forward to working together, old friend. He never gets better, does he? No. At least he's on our side, I the, think. The heck he is. <laughs> oh, wow. We've got quite the crowd here. And an interesting part of the set. Yeah, start at the back. The Chief and Nero go all the way back to the Magitech Academy. It's an exclusive school situated in the capital, reserved for the Empire's brightest elite. I don't know the nitty gritty details, but they didn't get along back then, and they don't get along now. Fate's a bastard for bringing them together again. Yeah, that's one way of putting it. To think the Allegans could make copies of people! If this knowledge were to fall into the wrong hands, the world would become a terrible place. I shudder to imagine a dozen bigs shouting at me all day long. <laughs> if that's the worst you can come up with, enjoy your innocence. It's okay, we'll make sure that doesn't happen, little wedge. Mr. Hyden in the corner. We may not have gotten off to the best of starts, but the past is in the past. Yesterday's enemies can be today's friends. Do you not agree, Warrior of Light? In general, yes. In your case, not so much. It goes without saying that Nero can't be trusted. We need to do well to keep an eye on him at all times. Or maybe two. Let us hear what Une and Doga have to say. It will not be too late to decide upon a course of action afterwards. You have every right to mistrust us, but I beg you hear us out. Long have we waited for this opportunity to fill our life's purpose. Oh dear. Sounds serious. If you're ready to listen, we shall tell you all. As it pertains closely to your investigation, your leader, Rambrose, may wish to be present. One scene cut later.
Before we begin, pray allow me to apologize again. It was not our intent to deceive you. As you have already gathered, we are not scholars sent by the students of Baldessian. Nay, we are clones. Copies of people who once existed, given life through Allegan technology. This is rather a lot to take in. If it would not be considered unseemly, might I ask why you and yours were created? And more specifically, what is it that you now seek to do? Answering your questions requires that we revisit Allegan history. Pray bear with us. The Allegan Empire reached its zenith long before our kind came into being. In that glorious age, the Crystal Tower stood tall as a symbol of Alag pride. Parents took their children there that they might learn how the nigh limitless energy it provided brought prosperity to the whole empire. The prosperity, however, uh -oh. bred. Oh, sorry. Dug is me. That prosperity, however, bred decadence, and the empire began to show signs of stagnation. This decline was made all the more rapid for want of strong leadership. In a matter of generations, the Allegan civilization became a pale shadow of its former self. Its once gleaming cities fell into disrepair, and its former frontier lands were given over to the wilderness. Lamenting the painful state of affairs, one technologist made it his mission to restore Alec to greatness. Amon was his name, and he, <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> and he believed the Ailing Empire wanted for but a potent ruler, and none was more potent than the Founding Father whom he sought to resurrect. Never a good idea. The Founding Father? You cannot mean Emperor Zande. None other. As part of his experiment, Amon created clones of the Empire's descendants. We are the product of that experiment, copies of Une and Doga. Historical texts mention the reigns of two Allegan emperors named Zande. It was commonly believed the second was the namesake of the first. After all, such a custom is not uncommon among royalty and commoners alike. To think that the two were in fact one and the same. I, Zande returned from the grave and assumed his throne once more. And true to Amon's prediction, the Empire restored the realm to its glory once it knew. Would that he could have been satisfied with that. In his previous life, the Emperor desired to bring the entire world under Allegan dominion, an ambition that ultimately went unfulfilled. Having been granted a second chance, he was determined to succeed. Realizing that he needed more power to wage his war of conquest, Zande turned his sights towards a forbidden source, darkness. In order to learn how to harness this power, he converted the Crystal Tower into a restricted research facility. Darkness again. Seven Hells. What is it with megalomaniacal rulers turning to darkness in their lust for power? Well, at least this one won't be bothering us, being thousands of years dead and all. Would that you were right, Master Garland. Oh, no. <laughs> Alas, Emperor Zande is very much alive. Within Circus Tower, he still abides, his ambition burning all the more ardently for his empire's collapse. Wielding the power of darkness requires prodigious amounts of energy, energy that not even the Crystal Tower could produce. In order to augment the shortfall, Dalamud was created and launched into the heavens. On high it hung, gathering the sun's energy and channeling it to the tower below. However, a miscalculation resulted in a surge of energy that escaped into the land. 
this triggered an earthquake of unprecedented violence, the calamity that ushered in the Fourth Umbral Era. In the blinking of an eye, the mighty Allegan Empire was laid to waste. By the way, do take note of the backgrounds they're showing you. There will be a quiz in 20 levels. Or is it 30? 30. Yet, even as the Crystal Tower was sinking into the Earth, the technologist Ammon, now Emperor Zande's closest aide, invoked powerful magics and halted the flow of time. Every soul within the structure, the Emperor included, was placed in a deep slumber. In that state, they were to remain until the time was ripe to awaken. Eras came and went. After a millennia laying dormant, Dalamud was summoned back to Earth. Its descent triggered the seventh umbral calamity, in wake of which the Crystal Tower re-emerged. At that moment, Emperor Zandi awakened. In his lust for power, the Emperor consorted with darkness and was seduced by its corrupting influence. Even though his empire is now little more than a faded memory, he will stop at nothing to see his ambition realized. Tis for no other purpose than to put an end to Zandi's madness that we exist. This is the mantle we have inherited from our namesakes, the true Une and Doka. Fearing what might befall the world, the two of them sought to thwart the Empire. They gave unto us their will that we might carry on their mission should they fail. When we came to our senses within the Crystal Tower, we deliberated a course of action. Concluding that we alone could not overcome Zande, we struck out to find a worthy ally. It has taken years, but our search is finally over. It is no ordinary woman who can cut a path through the labyrinth of the ancients. A few as our champions, Lodonia and Renafrith, we're confident that we can end Zande's dark ambition once and for all. Well, that'll teach me for speaking too soon. Setting my signature grant aside, I see now why you knew about the students about this and am among a host of other things. You were observing our investigation the whole time. So, what will we do? The world's in grave danger again, and just so happens you're an expert at saving it. I got new fists too! Can I try them out? I guess I'm coming out of retirement for this one. Get to punch things! <laughs> you have our eternal gratitude. Together, let us see the Algan Empire's dark past laid to rest. It has been our mission to recover the long lost knowledge of the Algan civilization. But what worth is that knowledge if it means subjecting the realm to peril? Truth be told, it pains me to think that the tower's secrets may become lost to us, but the greater good must ever come first. Besides, no quantity of ancient relics can compare to our friends Unai and Doga, living and breathing Allegans. And so I hereby declare a change in Noah's objective. Henceforth, we shall direct all efforts towards sealing off Circus Tower, as dark secrets must never know the light of day. Odonia, Rena, as you did for us within the Labyrinth of the Ancients, I would have you enter the structure and eliminate hostile elements. Suffice it to say, this includes Emperor Zande himself. Yay, I get to punch things! <laughs> Meanwhile, the rest of us shall examine ways to isolate Circus Tower from the outside world. To work them.
something wrong, cat boy? Wait. There's something I must know. My right eye is like yours. Does... Does this mean... You inherited the trait from your father, you said. Know that clones are unable to bear offspring. You have no cause for concern. The Allegan Eye, you called it, but to us it is the Royal Eye, owing to the fact that the trait manifests only in those possessed of royal blood. I cannot well explain why the Eye runs in your line, but I am disinclined to think it a coincidence. Though you are doubtless impatient to learn the truth, pray have patience. All will be revealed in due time. Thanks, Fog! Ruined a perfectly beautiful shot! <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even get that much. Honey? Though our names do not appear to have survived the passage of time, Doga and Une were worthy in individuals. They were not without faults, but they placed the welfare of their people above all else. When Zandi was resurrected, they supported his second ascension to the throne in hopes the Empire would flourish once more under his leadership. When it came to light that Zandi was consider consorting with dark powers, they did all within their power to stop him. Among the many acts, they imbued us two humble clones with their will. Within the Circus Tower, you will encounter clones who share our appearance. Though they too were created in the image of Doga and Une, they are but empty husks bereft of independent will. Their sole purpose is to eliminate intruders. Striking down spitting images of Une and myself may give you pause, but you must not let that stay your hand. Should that be considered a spoiler? Maybe? My apologies is, uh, if I've given you cause to worry. I'm quite well, I assure you. As you can appreciate, there has been much for me to think on. But now is the time for action, not idle thoughts. Sir, his tower awaits us. Stoke nods all around. It shall be glorious. Your task is to eliminate all hostile elements within the structure, Zande himself included. This will afford us the chance to seal off the facility. May the crystal grant you strength. Yeah, still not seeing it. <laughs> you have a problem with your draw distance. <laughs> sure you don't want to buy Sky a new card so you can inherit her old one? <laughs> no. Uh, given all the trouble it has, I'd rather have a new one for myself. Well, let's see how bad the queue is. Yes. We have half an hour and I don't work tomorrow. Ooh. My second three-day weekend in a row, out of three, collect and trade them with your friends. Wait time, less than five minutes. That's well, promising. The Circus Tower is one that a lot of people like for speed running. Yes. As a result, when we finally get to the last boss, we will probably be stuck in cinematic as they pull the boss. Oh, we'll yes. We'll just let them deal with it. Yep, yep, yep. We'll miss part of the fight. Oh, well. Unfortunately, the fight these days tends to go short enough that you miss some of the interesting parts of the fight. At the same extent, it's not like we won't see it again, and again, and again, and oh my you, god, we got again. You really think these two are going to be doing it a whole uh, bunch? <laughs> and, it's not like we're going to need it for relic weapons. 
I should hope not. <laughs> because we're not doing relic weapons. We are so not doing relic weapons. <laughs> Especially not ARR we relic weapons, oh my god. Which is the worst grind. Yes, yes it is. Oh my gosh. I can't believe I made questing do the entire AAR chain just to get... Well, actually, I'm not sad about it. To get Longulus Help me, Mr. Zeta. Wizard, I don't want a relic weapon anymore. Because Longulus Zeta is like the best freaking uh, looking uh, spear in the game. Ah, uh, yeah. And the bow is good. Yeah. At some point, Theron has actually started the chain for the ninja daggers. Ah. Well, two minutes in and not seeing anyone join in yet, but it'll probably just suddenly pop. Yeah. Yeah. Without any warnings. Uh, one thing this game does suffer from, it, it's nice that we have the roulette. I remember when we didn't the yeah. first time through with Theron and Rylea, and it took us four hours to get two more people to run Satasha mm. and before the roulette came around. But one of the things that people have discovered is that because the early stuff is so quick to just steamroll through, when they hit the roulette, they take before they do that, they take off all their gear, so they're guaranteed to only get uh, either labs or circuits. Right. And they try to avoid uh, World of Darkness if they can, but again, there's... It's kind of a fun one. It's fun <laughs> until you have tanks uh, provoke fighting over double blinky. Yeah, yeah. Then it's not fun. <laughs> and DPS explode all over the arena. And then people wonder why they've wiped. <laughs> I probably shouldn't have said any of that because we haven't gotten to the world of darkness, so technically that's a spoiler. But um, yeah, Double Blinky yeah. is special. <laughs> yeah, I, I was kind of avoiding saying double blinky e everyone else who's not seen it has no idea what we're talking about <laughs> nope they'll find out in eh, a couple of months <laughs> if we're not still waiting in queue in a couple of months <laughs> <laughs> but considering that you still need circus tower to do like the bosja relic grind yeah <laughs> So, yeah, it, it, though it's gone through some weird things. Remember at a point in Stormblood? Uh, it was just as Stormblood was getting going. And Theron and Rylea, after we'd come back from our break across Heaven's Word, uh, we'd actually stopped playing right before we hit the original AAR endgame. Yep. So when we finally... When Ursi finally convinced us that yes, we should do Circus Tower, no, it wasn't this hardcore raid, we should just throw ourselves into it and have fun. And it took three hours to get it, <laughs> the duty finder, to. Yeah. yeah it, 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 because no one was running it. The duty finder is trying to do a recreation of that event since we are over the average now. Uh, Though the average has not shifted. Give it time. It, it'll work out. Trust me. Have a little faith. No, no, no. I'm going... Hey, we have a third. But I'm going to force it to pop. Hmm. I'm going to get water. <laughs> Oh god, I, I remember that run inside labs that took four hours to fill. 
<laughs> that was just... That was special. And that's when we learned that you have to have a minimum of four people in each party in order to do the lanes and laps. Ah, the joy of duty finder. Nope, the average has not moved. So we're, we're just still waiting for the average. <laughs> Someone has an adorable little wind up pink red. Not only that, we lost our third. Oh. Average time just went to seven minutes. And we're at seven and a half. Yep, yep, it just went up. Uh, we might have to do this next week. We might. Though the, the run itself is like 15 minutes. A little longer than that, I think. But uh, not with the way most people face roll this be, place. It used to be, you know, like most of an hour, and it is long. Hey, we have a tank and two DPS. Progress. It, and I think it's been half an hour for some time, and yeah, it would have dropped again after the last expansion. Fifteen sounds a little short to me, but. I can believe it's getting close to that. Unfortunately, one of the problems with Frenna is she has, like, no emotes that I can deal with. <laughs> I can't play dead! I can't even do push-ups or squats! I, I, I'm sad. <laughs> what am I supposed to do being emoteless? Yeah, that's not helping. <laughs> I can't even do an Eastern dance. Uh, at the moment, we're keeping... Um, we're keeping what pretty members there. we do have for a bit. Showing off our favorite bunny. Mm hmm. With the waggly tail. It's happy that it's being appreciated. <laughs> oh my gosh. I mean, look at it hop around. Hoppy, hoppy, hoppy. Now we lost the tank, but we're up to five DPS. That's weird. Welcome to Q times. It's also and, uh, late on the Sunday. And obviously, various people are, you know, matching into various different parties, shifting in and out of this one. Dunk, 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 dunk. Oh, uh, just a reminder. A uh, live letter is coming up soon. Hmm. Looking up the dates real quick. Yeah, the live letter is scheduled for the 5th at 4 in the morning! I am not streaming it. <laughs> Why? You'll be wide awake at that point. 
debatable. But yeah, um, no. I'm not streaming a four in the morning live letter when it goes on for a good three, four hours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, it just ends about happening. the time we have lunch. Yeah, not happening. <laughs> But, well, maybe I should have gone heal. We're up to five. Yeah, that's where we've been ever since the tank left. Mm. The um, live letter is going to talk about a preview of the new island sanctuary. Mm. And traditionally, the major patch drops two weeks after the live letter. Okay. Uh, I believe... the live letter? The 5th. Um, Wednesday. Or Tuesday, sorry. Yeah, Tuesday at 4 in the morning. Um, uh, we... So around the 19th for the yeah. patch. Well, that's debatable six. because, um... The 6.18 patch drops on the 8th. And that will include mostly system adjustment changes and the opening of the cross-world data center travel. Which is something a lot of people have been looking for. Mm -hmm. uh, it'll include PvP ah, adjustments. Fine. Sorry, Black Mages, you're getting the nerf bat again. Um, what? <laughs> For PvP. <laughs> but, but, but. Explosions. How could they nerf the explosions? Yeah, well, uh, they did have some adjustments a little while ago for PvP, and they kind of over Ubered Black Mages, and they kind of need to dial it back. And everyone's like, we need to dial this back. Ah, uh, morning. The music changed. Ah, we just uh, increased the um, time elapsed. Yeah, to 13 minutes. Right? Yay! Yay! Let's go punch things! 1, 5, 2, 6, 11, 3, 6, 13, 14. 14. Come on! Red candy like button. You want to press the red candy like button. There we go! Poof. Thank you! And away we go! Into the tower! Yes. <sighs> ah, boy, this has gotten familiar over the years. I can see my party from here! enough black mages. <laughs> Maybe? Three black mages in our party. Two, two more, more in, in A, A and one and in C. And another one in C. Holy cow. <laughs> I thought I was being brave. Out of 15 DPS or black mages. Yes. Ooh. <laughs> oh, this will be different. Especially since I'm trying to remember how to black mage, especially at level 50. And all my skills are in the wrong place. Bar and hopefully I won't die in the process. Oh yeah, that would be good. And Blizzard 
Act 2 no longer exists, huh? No, I think it does. It's just, I think they got moved. Moved to something because I have a gray red X icon that was for Blizzard 2. Yeah, that's gonna need to be removed. I think we need to, like, maybe tomorrow afternoon sit down and retool your bar. <laughs> nah. It's not like it's overcrowded or anything. It's not like there's enough stuff on it for it to matter yet. Because all the big guns haven't come into Black Mage at this level. I tried to change directions, I froze. Okay, that's a different tether. Yeah, it is, but I I don't remember which one is which off the top of my head. Purple goes to towers. Red gets frozen in place. No. Or Red sorry, uh, fire, yellow which, uh, white breaks the, the freezing. Yeah, the uh, white gets frozen in place, and the red yeah, breaks freezing. Yeah, I could freeze not. Puddles off the top of my head tell the difference between the uh ice and the power up. This is the power up. Hold it straight out of the puddle. Why did you move him? what killed me. Actually, I have no idea what killed me. Uh, she did cast Agent Flare, which was a raid-wide AoE. Hmm. That is about as powerful as uh, most tank busters at this level. Oh dear. In order to avoid it, you need to stand in the puddle. Yeah, there was only one up. And we are yeah. Most of this 100s. gear you do not want for glam. Oh my god, what were they thinking? <laughs> Sometimes uh, they come up with some really fugly designs. These are the fugly of the fugliest. Going. 
do do do. Where is shoulder tackle? We've got howling fist. That's fine. Where's shoulder tackle? Nope. I can't find the skill. Ah, oh, there it is. There, right there. Last year, level us. Understood what is going on with the clockwork rights. They are throwing up a shield on him. The more tethers there are, the harder it is to damage him. Well, what do you do with them? Because I've never been able to hurt them. Uh, what you do is you have someone get in one of the pools, and then someone else has to kill the clockwork. Or Someone gets in one of the pools of the bit to disengage the tether. Then someone else has to kill the bit from outside the pool before you can reappear in the, the world. The problem is, is that everyone's so powerful now, they just, like, YOLO the boss and not care about that p particular mech. Yeah, because I've certainly never seen anyone actually doing that. I mean, there is apparently this entire thing with the side platforms that no one ever sees anymore because he goes down too fast. Yeah, oh well. <laughs> well, they've put out the red carpet for us. I just think we're climbing all the way up to the tower, on top of a very tall tower with stairs. Yeah. Hero knees. That's my only answer. <laughs> oh, I'm out of here. I barely got that one down in time. And let's see, this is rock placement or no? Uh, the tethers are drag over the kumkum so that yes. they shrink. Unfortunately, it's harder to do than you'd expect. Nope, nope. Perfectly done. Fine. We 
were kind of racing through these mechs, so. I need to make sure not to break the ice blocks. Yeah. Saga Forte. Yeah, hide Virgin behind Paul. a rock! Hide behind a rock! <laughs> I was near a rock just for this. Had this all planned. Galligan Catalyst. Just what you always wanted. And mapping the realm, Circus Tower. Uh, and City! Really buff version of the Thinker. You fight so valiantly broody. mortals, but to no avail. Soon it will be unleashed and something. Yeah, fight's already going. Thanks, guys. Well, there are parts of this fight I think are really neat. markers. Yeah. Oh, is this the uh, get on the platform? Yes. Yep, it is. Okay. That yeah, can get on the platform. Well, they don't make it look like something you're supposed to run away from anymore.
Life is a circus. And ding! Oh, very good. I should still be quite some ways away, but I was just barely at the level. And now you're going to make me heal World of Darkness. I hate you. <laughs> no. I'm not going to make you heal anything. You can do it if you want, but I'm not going to make you do it. Wind up onion night. <gasps> Not me. I get the little wind up onion night. Oh, very good. And I got accurate... one. I got the orchestration roll. An accurate representation of soldiers who once made up the greater portion of the Allied Imperial Army. Yeah. Wait, wait. They 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 used onion knights as their footmen. Yeah. Sure. Why not? I got two columns. You gonna loot? There you are. Adonia. You did it. You defeated Emperor Zande. Empires may rise and You fall. are way ahead of me. Yeah. I figured you would have largely caught up. Okay, go for it. Empires may rise and fall, but man's indefatigable in spirit ever lives on. Truly, you are the champion we had hoped for. With Emperor Zande now at eternal rest, his dark legacy may be undone. <sighs> what are you playing at now, Nero? In case you haven't noticed, Garland, these are dangerous surrounds. Can a man be faulted for exercising due caution? At any rate, you needn't mind me. I am perfectly capable of looking after myself. Go on and finish what you came to do. There are two ways that we may seal off Circus Tower. Either isolated from the outside world, or cripple its ability to produce energy. The choice of method is yours to make. But before you proceed, however, Doga and I must needs attend to tackle a task. Yeah, that's not ominous looking. Not in the slightest. That distortion. What is it? not be quite the right word. The power that Zande sought to obtain comes from the void. The world of darkness, our people called it. And the true nature of this power was none other than the armies of Void Scent. Void Scent feed on Aether, as you may already know, and no plane is richer in it than ours. In exchange for their allegiance, Zande entered into an unholy covenant. He would open a gate through which the Void Scent could freely enter our world. The covenant, I'm afraid to say, is still in effect. However, being of the Emperor's lineage, Unai and I believe we can annul it. By his blood, Zande sealed his dark pact. By our blood, 
it shall be undone. It is time. Yes, Doga. Finally, we may fulfill our purpose. His Nero just kind of wanders around in the background. <laughs> oh, be still my beating heart. For a moment, I feared this outing would end in disappointment. But my readings were not mistaken. Not even the Ultima weapon compares to this. What are you going on about? The Covenant is everlasting. Yeah, that's proper. Oh, that's not good. Dang it, I thought we'd gotten rid of all of them. So Maricidia is brought into the fold. Soon all the world shall be united under Allegan rule. And yet, with every dream that becomes reality, the memory of death grows ever more vivid, an endless void bereft of light and warmth. Though I may have defeated death, it did not leave me unscathed. Nay, its ravening claws have scarred my soul for eternity. Never shall I know peace. Beings without will, you cannot fathom my rage, my melancholy, my fear. What worth is wealth and power when all must inevitably be consigned to nothingness? man has nothing, he need not know the pain of loss. So let there be nothing. Harvest more power that the gate may be thrown full open. Let the cloud of darkness come and engulf the world, devouring all life, hopes, and dreams. Let all be returned to nothingness. Ah, that wonderful over and over again trope in FF. Nihilistic villains. Good shooting. Adonia, Rena, pull yourselves together. Sorry! Is there no end to them? What in the Seven Hells is happening? Not no, damn it. Maybe you should try shooting that thing. Ow. You mean like that? Something like that. I have questions on how that one works. Nero, were they part of your grand plan too? Save your japes, Garland. I didn't put up with your arrogant face to play with worthless clones. Something controls them. A void scent and no ordinary one at that. <clears throat> Doga! Yeah. That would be 
that. Confounded. Without them, there's no way to master the darkness. That power is thine. You're just too greedy, guts. The Covenant shall be honored. I am the Cloud of Darkness. I shall devour your light and return this world to the Void. Trust me, there's no returning to the Void for this world. The rift is gone. What are we supposed to do now? As much as it pains me to leave without them, there's precious little we can do. Let us return to the find and consult Drambros. And that will be next week. Yes. Before that, real quick. Nope, nope, not that one. That one. Oh, little, when did I get a little mummy? Mummy is a little mummy. Know. It is believed that the ancient technique of mummification, which involves embalming, organ removal, wrapping in burial shrouds and a multi-layer sarcophagus was the experience was an expensive undertaking that was performed on a child can attest to their parents devotion yeah I told you I'm not your mummy old doll citizen no but more importantly wind up on your night Oof. hi bunny hello little onion knight if the sons of St. Cognac anthropolo anthropologic grapher Rambros is to be believed, towards the end of their civilization, the Allegans began to use automate automata such as this to fight their wars, which have been deemed inhumane, yet ultimately ne necessity to spread imperial peace. Obedient. By the onion! <sighs> okay. I say we go spend the night in Mordona. Yeah, it's vaguely more comfortable than this place. But yes, Foxfire, you are correct. You don't master the darkness. The darkness masters you. Yeah. Uh, yeah, about half a level. We have an Amber Drop Chocobo. We know how to use it. Way From just a little into 52 to over halfway through 52, so... Okay. Not bad. I'm, like, just barely into 53. Yeah. I think my lowest right now is actually White Mage. Double checking. Black Mage yeah. was my lowest. Oh, no, sorry. White Mage Warrior and Black Mage were all 52, but Black Mage had less XP on it than the others. Red Mage is at 50, but I'm purposely sitting on that. Right. Dragoon is 53 and almost a 54.
Yeah, in a little bit, I'm going to have to start exercising Warrior. They're staring at us. They sure are. Come sit. Kind Come of so. uncomfortable. <laughs> and Alyssa there has a bang too, which kind of worries me. Yeah, just just stare at your plate meaningfully and don't make eye contact. <laughs> Well, at least the wandering minstrel isn't trying to uh, side eye us. Our eyes met. You gotta fight. <laughs> That's right, little onion yike. <laughs> okay. In any case, it is more than past time for us to head to bed. Oh, yes. yes you guys have a great evening. We will see you tomorrow for more near automata. Sorry, um, near replicant. Yes. Until then, you guys get a good night's sleep. Be safe, be well, hope to see you then. Yeah, everyone have a great night. And a decent Monday. I mean, it's Monday. Mm. <laughs>